Okay, so it might be that you want to connect a servo motor um, like this to your Esprino board. Now, the um, servo motor's got three wires of exactly the same pin spacing as the Esprino board. Um, so you can just press it on. But that won't work um, because not the, connect, not the correct wires are connected. So what you need is power and ground and a signal wire. And you can get the signal wires along here. And there are a free set of pins that go to this prototyping area. Um, and you can use these to um, carry the power and ground. So the first thing you need to do is to get um, some more of this pin strip. And to cut off, um, well just snap off in fact, seven of the, of the pins. So, and you can just do this um, really easily with your fingers. If you snap off too few, it's not a big problem. Um, you can just, just push them in manually. So, um, all you need to do now is to push them into the, um, into the prototyping area. You'll note that I've actually um, I've left one of these holes at the end free, and that's because this pin, third in from the end, is 3.3 volts, and we don't really want to connect a servo to that, as it's not a signal wire, um, so you won't be able to get the servo to do anything. So now we've got this, we've got our seven spaces for servos, and to hold them straight, um, just stick a servo into it, um, just to hold everything in the right position and make sure everything's um, flat with the edge. Now you can just turn this over and you can solder it. But what we need to do, um, these wires, these pins are not all connected together at the moment. In fact they're just connected to that prototype area on the other side. So we're going to have to um, solder on a piece of wire to join them all up. So instead what we'll do is we'll um, just solder on the top and the bottom of each side. And that gives us a really good opportunity to check that the pin strip is actually in the right place anyway. Um, because it looks in here like it may have just slightly drifted out, which it has. So um, like we did when we did the other side, we'll just press down with our fingers and, um, and settle them in while we heat them up. Right, so now um, we just want to take a, a thin piece of tinned wire um, and you can get this from pretty much any, any electrical place um, and run it along um, each of these two sets. And what we're going to do is when we get to the end of this one we're going to attach it to the bat which is here. When we get to the end of this one we'll attach it to ground. So first off we just solder it um, to the first pin along here, and then we try and run it straight along and solder it to the last pin. And then we'll just take it round and solder it onto um, the battery voltage. And then cut it off. We'll do the same with this one. And we'll attach it to ground. Cut it off. So now it looks like that, um, and we're just going to fill in with solder to make sure we get an electrical contact all the way along here. Um, you may be worried about shorting out to these pads. Um, that's not a huge problem as these pads are actually not connected to anything, they're part of the prototyping area. 
But if you are worried, you can put insulation over them, or you can um, you can put some tape underneath them, or something like that. It doesn't matter too much about putting quite a lot of solder on these because um, it's basically going to glob onto the onto the wire anyway. And there you go, that's it done. Um, now all you have to do is connect the servo to it. Now the, um, the servo signal wire needs to go towards the outside. Um, on these servos the signal wire is yellow. On other servos um, you have black, red and white wires. And the white wire is the signal wire on them. So um, yeah, and you can get seven servos along here. Um, and the pin names that you need to access the servos are written either along this side here or are written on the other side um, along the edge there. Thanks for watching.